All right. Here we are in beautiful downtown Santa Cruz, the lovely Sea and Sand Hotel. So I wanted to take this time to do a video on a wonderful style that gets a lot of negative feedback. This is mainly because people do not understand what it's made for. I'm talking about Wing Chun. Now Wing Chun at close quarters is an excellent system. It is made for tight, close quarter combat. I've heard all types of things. Wing Chun punches don't have any power, all right? Volunteer will allow someone to hit you with one free shot. No one will do it. Most people won't. If they will, don't engage them if it's trouble. There is no such thing as a technique that cannot hurt you. This is a ridiculous idea. This is not effective. That's not effective. People that are used to this mentality aren't good fighters. They're not people that understand fighting. Now, what is someone who we would call a good fighter? Someone who does not underestimate any opponent. Look at every UFC fighter that goes into the ring. They are aware, alert, and watching everything because they know how easily they could lose in a second. Now, this is inside of an environment that is very dangerous by the opponent. There is no other danger. No one else is going to come into the ring. The ref can stop it before it gets too bad. So as dangerous as the fighters are, they're protected. It's a virtual scenario, imaginary. You will not find this scenario on the street. There are no weight classes on the street. You can't watch someone's fights over and over again before you fight them. You don't know who it's going to be. This is why combat is very dangerous and MMA is not age friendly. Now don't get me wrong, I love MMA. I love a good fight. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of guts to be in there. With that being said, just understand, there are arts that aren't made for that. Wing Chun is made for tight, close quarter combat. If you look at the UFC ring, the octagon is huge. Look at one, same thing, it's big spaces. Wing Chun is tight. So I'm gonna show you a quick six repetition technique that can help you with your Wing Chun. But you need to be at Chum Q level. If, you want, if you're at Selim Tao and you don't know how to turn yet, you might wanna wait a little longer for this video. Or you can watch it and hold off either way. Whatever you wanna do with it. This is second level Chum Q. We're gonna do torquing, all right? Ganda, here it is, Ganda. So we're going to do twice, Ganda, Ganda, Tanda, Tanda, Gobongda, Gobongda. Now we want to make sure we don't overturn. If you overturn, you get knocked back. The point of turning is so that we can go forward, right, at angles. Now the Wing Chun stance will get very, very strong. So at close quarters, you can press against a wall and keep someone there with all of your weight while you strike. Now, once again, you hear this, this doesn't have any power, that doesn't have any power. Ignore it, ignore it. Any person can have power if they train their body to do it. So it's a person thing rather than a style thing. Once again, Ganda, not to torque too far. Ganda, Ganda, Tanda, Tanda. Go Bangda, Go Bangda. All right little six count so we appreciate you watching if you found this brief info on the Wing Chun system effective informative click the like button even better subscribe patreon even better see who less comments out